Heaven or hell? Let's rock! Did you know that prolific voice actor Troy Baker, voice of Joel in The Last of Us and Booker in Bioshock Infinite, was once the voice of Soul Bad Guy? 2007's Guilty Gear 2 Overture, being the most story-focused game of the series up until then, was the first entry to receive an English dub made up of a pretty standard list of well-known dub actors from around the time, and the Guilty Gear himself was Baker in one of his first leading roles. The attack is related to the disappearance of the Gears. Gunplay! Bandit Revolver! Of course, it would be incorrect to call him Soul's first official English voice. God, I don't want to have anything with him. You're such a boy scout! When the series came back from an extended hiatus with Guilty Gear Xard Sign in 2014, the part went instead to David Forseth. How many times I gotta kill you before it sticks? Gunflame! Gun and Revolver! While it's possible that this recasting was due to Troy Baker suddenly becoming a household name the year prior, and therefore being too expensive for the production, it's also possible that it was simply a case of changing creative direction. Much of the same voice cast from Overture returned for Sign, but placed in different roles, such as Liam O'Brien jumping from Kai Kiesk to Axel Lowe. A gear moving of its own volition. She was never a weapon! Stand Dipper! Viper Thrust! Go easy on me, okay? Let your guard down. Wait a tick, why are you reading off all the laws I've broken? Some even jumped between several characters, between Guilty Gear and sister series Blaze Blue. I see. You seem to have acquired the Backyard's abilities. How unfortunate, Flame of Corruption. Why do you keep calling it a... If you'll pardon my language, a piece of crap. Ah! Women's style confounds me! Is this scandalous or classy? I cannot tell. The one exception was Michael McConaughey, who remained as Dr. Paradigm and has yet to be replaced, mostly because he doesn't have a speaking role in Strive. Hmm. It's an application of the space curve. The Magic's Five context is the basis, and there is a link to the Nth mapping. Do you understand it? This sort of voice inconsistency is perhaps a recurring element of the series, as it has taken place in Japanese as well. Some characters had a new voice in practically every game they appeared in. Robokai may have an excuse, as each one could be a different unit. At least the real Kai Kisk has kept the same since 1998. Takeshi Kusao, continuing on from another blonde sword wielder that's also been in an Arc System Works fighting game. However, fellow lead Soul hasn't been so lucky in Japanese either. Many Guilty Gear fans are aware that series creator Daisuke Ishiwatari originally provided the voice of Soul, though primarily due to budget limitations. Originally, he envisioned Koichi Yamadera as the Flame of Corruption, the same year as his big role in Spike Spiegel. And in a couple of weird coincidences, Yamadera would later dub over Troy Baker for The Last of Us, and would appear himself in Arc System Works' as Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> So, Daisuke stepped in the vocal booth himself, but only for battle. When the character would need to act in story content, such as the expanded story mode in Guilty Gear X2, Hikaru Hanada would step in. This wasn't an uncommon practice in the company. If you see an actor without an associated photo in this video, they were an Arc System Works employee. However, the aforementioned Guilty Gear 2, with its expanded story and cutscene focus, couldn't have this split in voices and needed a new approach. This was when Joji Nakata took on the character full-time and has remained to this day. Interestingly, as Accent Core was pretty much the only other game during this transitional period, it offered a toggle for the player between Daisuke and Joji voices for both Soul and Order Soul. Which do you prefer? Dragon's Tour! Oh! 
ンプレイスバンデッドリボルバードラゴンインストールなあ Several voices had to be changed due to the passing of the voice actor, such as Slayer going from Iemasa Kayumi to Takaya Hashi. In one special circumstance, however, this would be incorporated into the story. After Zato One's original actor, Kaneto Shiozawa, passed away in 2000, Shortly before Guilty Gear X's arcade debut, Guilty Gear X2's story followed Zato's death, whereupon his physical body would be possessed by his shadow beast Eddie, played by Takehito Koyasu. However, after Zato himself was revived in Guilty Gear x a r d s i g n Koyasu remained in the role, though taking a much different approach to the voice. <laughs> In a funny turn of events, one of Koyasu's better known roles is that of the villain Dio Brando in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, while Zato's English voice is provided by Matt Mercer, who played one of the Joestar family that battled Dio, Jotaro Kujo. Remember, my name is Zato One! My name is Jotaro Kujo. Shut your mouths and get the hell out of here before your whiny bitching makes me angrier! Dio's English voice was busy in another series. Hell's Fang! Gauntlet Hades! While the series has been rife with inconsistencies, some things have stayed the same. The legacy of Guilty Gear's first English voice lives on in Strive. Oh no! I'm falling! I'm falling! Making Sean Chiplock the second Kai voice to also play Trunks. Thanks for watching. This video was inspired by Chris Neosi's Did You Know voice acting series. I'm also a big fan of voice actor trivia, so if you'd like to see more of this, let me know in the comments below.